Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome on the GFP Sports Magazine. Today, we have decided to introduce an incredible sport, the Australian football. With me today, Paolo Como, Julian Guillo, and Uruguayan, one player of the Paris Cockwells. They are, will be with us in a few minutes in order to explain this incredible sport. First, Paolo, uh, is it a good uh, discovering for you? Yeah, it was a fantastic discovering. Actually, we went to the Paris Cockroaches and uh, to do this the, the report, we met the, all the team and uh, they were very pleased to, to welcome us. So we went to the game, they won against Toulouse, so it was fantastic to be with them and there is a special spirit in this team. So yeah, very pleased to, to, to do that. Thank you. We come back to you in a few minutes. Footy or Australian football uh, is the most popular sport in Australia. Uh, according to Australian, it's quite a religion. Unique but close to rugby, footy begins to export in the European countries. The oldest club in France, the Paris Cockwells, uh, was founded in 1998. Right now, a report. Physical, athletic and intensive, Australian football is very close to rugby. Twice per week, the Paris Cockwells has training sessions that reunite about 30 players. Uh, a little bit more physical, uh, kind of like rugby, um, but for, for a bit more running. So it, it suits um, you know, the people who are in between sort of rugby or football or, or other sports, handball, etc. We're going to be kicking it from end to end, okay? So the long kick goes down to the centre cone in the back, okay? He's coming forward, he's leading forward. He's going to give to the, the milieu option, the two cones here forward. <laughs> Players can almost do what they want, not restricted, they can play with the end by punching the ball or with the foot by kicking it. If, if, a, if a Xavier is kicking to you, sometimes it's going to have a little bit more air, okay? So just get ready to, to hold your position. So get your Paris Cockers keep attracting new players, even though infrastructure are still missing, the club develops projects to keep growing. I've been growing in numbers. Uh, this year we're almost double the number of players that we had uh, had last year. So the, the club is really growing, uh, looking at improving our, our training facilities to have a, a bigger ground. Uh, we have more uh, practice matches, so we can have uh, friendly matches amongst our own players. Contrary to Australia where footy is professional, in France this sport remains a matter. But the development of a national league is a proof that Australian football is growing in our country. Toulouse, Strasbourg, Perpignan, Bordeaux and Montpellier are other teams of the French Championship. And despite little support, the league continues to expand. This weekend, Paris Cockers played a decisive game against its biggest rival, Toulouse Hawks, and things went good for the club of the capital. The spirit of this game seduces French people. There are 22 in total playing for the Paris Cockerels and all of them confirm it's a friendly sport. It's a friendly spirit. It's a sport of contact but also of agility. We must know each other as teammates whether they are French or Australian. Talked about before the game. Paris Cockroaches is also the opportunity for Australian native people to adapt to their life in the French capital through a sport they have practiced since they were young. In France for two years or less, there are 10 playing for the club, bringing skills, spirit and joy to their partners. Uh, absolutely mate, it's, it's fantastic. I love to play football uh, and to do it in France is really novel. Uh, it makes me feel at home. I meet the French people, which is wonderful. Uh, no, no, I love it. It's great. The game is over at Vincennes and Paris once again to lose 163 to 34. Despite injuries, all the players reunite for a photography in a pleasant atmosphere. Yes, it was a fantastic victory. Well, um, Paolo, you discovered this sport uh, during a student trip in Australia. Could you detail us uh, this activity? Yeah, it's true. I went to Australia a year ago and I discovered this sport uh, as it is uh, inevitable in Australia. Um, Australian football or footy is almost a religion as we can uh, see kids never without a ball playing everywhere they can. Uh, there is a big tradition uh, as footy is the oldest sport in Australia. The league was created in 1896 a century ago. The atmosphere around this sport is amazing. There are teams 
all around Australia, but especially in Melbourne, uh, the epicenter of this uh, sport. It is like London uh, for soccer, as eight teams uh, of the Australian Football League AFL are suburbs of Melbourne. Uh, most of the, the games take place at the MCG uh, Stadium. Uh, there are almost 100,000 uh, seats in this stadium. It is huge. Um, Melbourne, so in Melbourne, there is also... Every weekend, there is a, a game of footy. It is a pleasant to, to go to the stadium uh, as there are no confrontation between uh, supporters. Yes, uh, but uh, what sort of uh, specificities uh, of a footy? Yeah, so at the, the first overlook, it seems very hard to understand uh, every rules. Uh, 36 uh, overtrained athletes play um, against each other. There's a lot of movements as uh, the pitch is quite big. Uh, for comparison, the size is equivalent of a soccer pitch plus a um, running track. So it is huge. Australian football has the reputation to be a violent sport. It is very physical, athletic and intensive. Uh, physical because uh, contacts are allowed and most of them are in the, in the air as the ball can be uh, marked. Uh, athletic and intensive because the game is very long. Uh, it is divided in four quarters of 20 minutes each. A footy game mostly uh, lasts two hours with breaks included. Players can pass the ball with the, with the end uh, by pushing the ball or with the foot by kicking it. And so they always have an alternative, short pass or long pass. Okay. How do players score goals? Yeah, it is very hard. There are different uh, possibilities for players. First, there are four vertical posts uh, which are situated uh, on the touchline on both sides of the pitch. Uh, there are two goal posts and two back posts. To score, the ball has to pass between goal, goal post or back post. Points are validated only if the ball was struck with the foot. Okay. If the ball passes between the goal post, it is a goal that brings six points to the team. Otherwise, uh, if the ball passes between back post and a goal post, if it touches one of the goal post or if the ball is touched before it gets in the post, yeah, I know, it's, it's a little bit oh. hard. Uh, it, is, it brings uh, one point to the team. So it is always clearer after watching uh, a game. But what is sure is that a footy score can reach more than 100 points. I did uh, my best, Fabian, in order you understand uh, better uh, the football, uh, Australian football rules. It was perfect, Paolo. Uh, thank you. Uh, as every week, now is the Julian Guillaume interview. Exactly, Fabian. And this week, we are with you, Ryan, players of Paris Cockrell. You, you come from Australia in a small town called Essendon. Well, actually, Essendon is the team that I support. But I do come from a small town. That's true. And how did you discover Australian football? Well, I think it discovered me before I knew that I had discovered it mm. because I don't remember ever being unaware mm. of it. So mm. I guess I grew up with it. And how long have you practiced uh, footy? Again, I, I have no idea. To tell you the truth, I, I would have kicked a ball when I was two years old, mm. but I, I don't remember it. It was, it was that long ago. Oh. I'm getting quite old now, so it was... A long time ago. <laughs> and how, how long have you been practicing in France? Uh, only in the last three or four years have I really picked it up. I played in one of the Anzac matches, which is a game that's played every year, once a year, uh, for a day called Anzac Day. Okay. And it's in the north near Amiens. So I've okay. in the last three or four years, yeah. Okay. And do you practice other sports? Yeah, I, I did previously, but... Um, Over the last few years, as I've been getting older, it's more and more difficult to, to find time and to, to, to get my body in shape. To, to. But I, I, I used to play basketball, tennis, cricket. I okay. wouldn't know much about cricket, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, in, in Australia, particularly growing up in Australia, we, we do tend to play a lot of sport. And yeah. what do you like in Australian football? Uh, well, I love the tradition. Um, the, the, the game itself, the skills involved require a lot of balance, which is mm. a, a good skill to have in life in general. So it does have good life skills and teamwork and, and the fact that often the best team wins. Okay. I have difficulty with other sports where teams win because of luck or because of an umpiring or referee's decision. And I think I much prefer Australian football because it does reward good play. Yeah. Okay. And 
What are the differences with other ball sports? Well, it's older than most ball sports, except for except maybe for soccer. If you look at rugby, rugby was created after Australian football, so it's it's older than rugby, and rugby is said to have a strong tradition. Uh, I prefer to rugby uh, to rugby because rugby involves a lot of physicality, a lot of contact, whereas Australian football does require some contact, but it's not as common. And soccer, I dislike because of the difficulty to score. Yeah. Once and for all, what are the rules of footy? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, rules, the, the rules are actually uh, very pragmatic rules. So they do change, and it depends on how people are playing the game. The rules of the game try to promote good play and try to promote scoring. So the rules are all about being fair. You can't trip people because it's very dangerous. You can't hit people in the head because that's dangerous. What you can do is protect your teammates by shepherding, we call that, protecting them within five meters of the ball. You can kick, you can hand pass, you can't throw the ball. Yeah. Obviously, that would be uh, too precise, so we want to make it difficult for people. But basically, the rules are there to defend good play, so to promote the, the game in a certain way, to push it in a certain direction. And I think the rules are good if you understand them. In your opinion, why the footy is so misunderstood in France? Well, it's, it's not known. People don't know it. It's, uh, it's, it's not very well known elsewhere in the world either. You can see in the United States it's taking a, uh, taking a lot of time to, to become uh, something that is played by more and more people, but it's still very misunderstood all over the world. So it's not just France. Okay. And do you think it will ever have the same reputation than in Australia? No. It's, impo <laughs> it's really impossible. Not Why? because not not because France doesn't like it. It's because no one could ever possibly like it as much as Australians do. So I think it will gain in in, in credibility and in in uh, in its uh, ability to 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 uh, to be promoted within this country. But no one will ever love it as much as we do. Okay. Thank you, Julian, and thank you so much, Hugh Ryan, for being with us today. Uh, for more information, go on www.parisquoquels.fr. Uh, uh, um, it's the end of our magazine. Uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.